Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy guys So today we are gonna look into the Sagi metric test On how much you should boost Should you put 2 Or should you put 4 pieces And we are gonna look at the comps for it So let's take a look at it So for Sagi metric test Let's Okay, let's TLDR first and then we go in detail later. So two pieces, you get off damage, you get the freeze the target except for boss and 5% more damage. For four pieces, just more damage bonus when you attack 10 times. So let's take uh, with some not that detail for two pieces. So after three seconds, you do this amount of damage. For 10 meter radius, and then you put the stack on the mobs or the bosses that last for 3.5 seconds. This on this one will freeze the target when it have three stacks. Basically, it will three point oh basically it three three second three times so nine second, and then the enemy or the mobs will freeze for 3 seconds this does not apply for bosses as mentioned above and then increase the damage taken by the target by 5% 18 seconds so basically this one as I TLDR in the first minute this one give you of damage free damage 10 meter radius that freeze the target 3 seconds and then damage 5% increase to that enemy or the target that you attack for 18% this matrix also works in background so you don't need to put this matrix in the main main weapon or the main DPS for 4 pieces in the other hand this one is really really good for the frost comp so you do need this matrix this for pieces magic for your frost comp if you play frost as your main element the only the reason that you need this matrix is you get the final damage boost that it easily to get so you only need to attack 10 times to the target and then you apply the fresh freeze mark or you can call it as a mark you mark the enemy and then you get 11 13 15 17 more damage against that target this also app this apply only frost damage. This is frost damage, not frost ATK or frost attack. The difference between attack and the damage is that the damage is the last a multiplier before the crit damage in your equation. So if you has a lot of damage, it could result in very high DPS compared to you get a lot in the frost ATK. So that the difference between ATK and damage. The ATK plus in your stat, but the damage is the output of your damage itself, not considered the crit damage you have. This one also works in background, so you don't need to put this one in your main DPS weapon. For DPS comp, I recommend you get four pieces. And for tank comp, you can get for pieces to increase your ability of aggroing the monster otherwise it's going attack your DPS player in your team which is not that good if you play tank so you do need some DPS to keep the boss or keep the target in your range for your teammate so for Saki pieces you can put it in like Tsubasa or in Lin in the future but for Lin she has her own matrix you can consider that also just put Lin in Lin matrix and Saki you can just put in like Freak and you get rid of Freak matrices or you can just put Saki in Saki and Lin in Lin and freak in freak but that one I don't really recommend because of 
you can put two crew and two Samir in your Saki and increase the output of her on field ability. So if you don't have Lin, uh, you don't have Frick Matrix, you can put Frick, you can put Saki in Frick, and then you go well on Lin banner and you get her to C6 or C3 plus her matrix and then use her matrix on her weapon. That is the first comp that I come up with. The second comp, you switch Lin with Subasa and put four Saki in Subasa. So this is the end of this video about the matrixes and some comps for you guys to play with. In the next video I will talk about how to rotate her skill for the DPS comp and the tank comp which might not be that optimal but I will try to be optimal as as much as needed possible so thank you for watching have you a good have a good day bye bye